Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can enable high DPI display modes in Mac OS X Live. Now this is something similar to how the iPhone uses the Retina display with the doubled resolution. So basically there's this option that you have to tweak and once you do that you'll be able to use high DPI display modes in line. Now of course at this point since we don't have Retina Display Max everything is twice as large on the screen. So it's not exactly a very practical thing at this point but it's really something neat to try because it is kind of neat to see what Apple's doing in the way of making Retina Display Max. So don't expect to get a lot of functionality out of this. This is more of just a neat little tweak you can try out. So the first thing we're going to need is Xcode from the Mac App Store. So if you go up to your app logo menu and select App Store, you want to go over to the search field and type in Xcode. And you can see Xcode right here. And I can select this now. It is free in the Mac App Store, but the biggest problem is that it is 1.68 gigabytes. So it's not something you're going to really want to download and expect to have finished if you're on a slow wireless network. And if you have a limited data connection, it's just something you want to think about before you go through the trouble of downloading Xcode. So once you download Xcode, you'll be given an installer and you'll be able to install Xcode. And that's a process that I've already done. It does take a little bit of time and it's pretty self-explanatory. So it's nothing I really need to cover here. So after Xcode is installed, you can open up a new finder window. And from there, go to Macintosh HD. And then there'll be a new developer folder right here. And you can open that up. And in here, there'll be an applications folder. So go into that. And then from there, a graphics tools folder. And then in this graphics tools folder, there's a whole bunch of different graphics-based apps. But what you'll want to do is open up Quartz Debug. When you open it up, you're not really going to see anything on the screen except for this little window that'll be floating right here. But if you go up to the window menu, under Quartz Debug, and you select UI Resolution. This little window will pop up right down here, and all you need to do is check this Enable High DPI Display Modes option. Then you're going to get this message that you should log out for your changes to take effect. And in fact, you have to log out all users that are on your computer for this to work. So I'm going to cut the video right here and log out, and then I'll log back in and we'll go in and see how it works. So now that I've logged out and logged back in, what I can do now is go up to the Apple logo menu and select System Preferences. Now in System Preferences, all I have to do is go to the Displays tab. Now what you can see here is in addition to the normal displays, I have a couple different high DPI modes, and you can see it's in parentheses right afterwards. So let's try something like 1280 by 720 high DPI. So you can see here now, this is the 1280 by 720 high DPI mode running on my iMac here. And you can see that everything looks a lot clearer. Uh, it, it just overall looks nicer. And uh, everything is very high resolution. So if you imagine a Mac with the double of the resolution of this, everything would display at the normal size as you would see on a Mac today. Now there are some flaws with this, as you can see in my menu bar. Not all the icons support the 2x resolution. Uh, most of the native OS X ones do, as you can see here, like volume and the time. But most of the third-party apps do not. This is also true with some graphics, like the iCloud logo in System Preferences is not a, at the 2x resolution, while most everything else is. And similarly, if you go up to the App Logo menu and select About This Mac, you can see that the App Logo is not high resolution either. And this is a pretty common trend with most applications. As you can see, the dock looks very nice at this resolution, uh, but things like stacks do not. A lot of the native applications do tend to look pretty decent, such as calculator. Uh, it looks actually incredibly nice at this 2x resolution. Other applications like iCal look generally awful at this 2x resolution, as you can tell that none of the user interface elements other than the text supports the 2x display modes. So there's how you can enable high DPI display modes on your Mac running OS X line. And once again, this is not something that is good for day-to-day -day use. 
Uh, it's more just of a fun thing to try out, kind of get a look into what Apple might be doing in the future for Retina Display Max. As always, if you have anything you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.